In this question, we're given a balanced chemical equation and we're asked to find which substance is being oxidized, which substance is being reduced, which substance is the oxidizing agent, and which substance is the reducing agent. Step one is to find the oxidation numbers. Starting with our first reactant of aluminum. Aluminum is one element in its solid state that has an oxidation number of zero. Now, this two is only there to balance out this chemical reaction. So yes, this still is just one element in its solid state. Moving on to F2. F2 is a diatomic atom. Diatomic atoms have an oxidation number of zero. Moving on to aluminum. Now, aluminum has a three plus charge. So if it has a charge, then one element with a charge, the oxidation number will be the charge. That's why our oxidation number here is plus three. Lastly, fluorine has a negative one charge. Once again, that oxidation number would be its charge. So in this case, our oxidation number is negative one. Step two, label oxidation and reduction processes. When labeling oxidation or reduction, what we're focused on is the change of oxidation numbers. So let's start off with aluminum. It starts as zero, then changes to a positive three. Because this became more positive, this is oxidation. Remember, oxidation becomes more positive when we're going from reactant to product and looking at our oxidation numbers. It becomes more positive due to a loss of electrons, and electrons are negatively charged. Moving on to fluorine, we're gonna go from zero to a negative one, so this is reduction. We know this is reduction because our oxidation numbers are becoming more negative because we are gaining electrons. Now that we know which elements are involved in oxidation and reduction, let's go back to answering our questions. Now, whenever you're being asked which substance is being oxidized, reduced, what's your oxidizing agent or reducing agent? This is very, very important. We are only talking about the reactants. Our first question asks, which substance is being oxidized? So now that you know we're only looking at the reactants, we're gonna focus on the reactant that is involved in oxidation. Our reactant that is involved in oxidation, therefore that's the substance that's being oxidized, is aluminum in its solid state. Part B, which substance is being reduced? So we'll go back and look at just the reactant that was involved in reduction. So our substance that's being reduced is F2. Part C, which substance is the oxidizing agent? Remember, whatever is being reduced is your oxidizing agent. In part B, we found that the substance being reduced was F2, so that's the same thing as our oxidizing agent. Part D, which substance is the reducing agent? Remember, a reducing agent is whatever is being oxidized. So in part A, we found what is being oxidized, that was aluminum. Our reducing agent is then aluminum in its solid state. 